How would John Henry open it? You want to do the intro? <laughs> no. <laughs> Negative. Negative to you. All right. Yeah. This is our first online unfun stuff commentary track. I've got uh, I've got Ricky Guajardo, right? Guajardo? Ricardo Guajardo. It rhymes. Guajardo. I thought it was Guajarda. No. My bad. My name's Chris Brown. No problem. And we've got a we've got a sick tilted mat. Do you see how tilted the camera was? Like, good job, Brownlee. Damn. Maybe it helps with the glare, man. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. Yeah, it was on purpose. So we've got Donovan and Faye uh, going up head to head, and the the Donovan deck. I know, Ricky, this wasn't your deck. I just handed you things to do, but describe what what it what, what it was that you're trying to do with this deck. So it's a Donovan mill deck with the purpose of using, I forgot what the mill card is called, the action. Test your mic. Test your mic. Trying to hit 15, which is pretty easy with Donovan. And then because you're hitting 15 damage, the game could either go, I mill you or I just kill you. Right. With an easy way to go defensive because I could just block and draw for days and I could sculpt my hand. You know, every, every foundation is a dr versus an attack right and uh i think he's a great character he's he's pretty good the um the it i uh when i built the deck it was like three win condition sort of shenanigans it's it's, you know you test your might and fatalities you use um deep freeze and frost hammers are main boarded and then there's so many powerful attacks with thunder breaks and soul devours that um you can just Oh, I happen to build multiple power to connect the cosmos, and you can just uh, slap someone for a billion because they overextended on a turn or something like that. There's only two thunder breaks, though, right? I feel like I never drew any. There were two. There's two thunder breaks, three soul devours, um, but both of right. them have powerful on them, and they they, they both uh, act, activate the power to connect all, all realms. All right, you ready to get started? Yep. All right, and go ahead. So. On the flip side, the uh, the Fade deck is, is uh, the one I played at Nats in it, at Tampa. It's just uh, sculpt, sculpt, sculpts until I can get uh, Caltrips into a Sand Grenade. And I think that the game plan that you, you have to make is just to just hopefully get rid of the Sand Grenades before I can pick them up. Although playing, I think you built a Coolant Focus at some point that made it yeah, so if you're going to stack your deck, which is pretty easy, like you discard a momentum, yeah. you know what it is, usually I can just cool and focus and throw something on top. Right. I played a Stoneman who literally had three out in our game three. It was not fun. I think I had to play. Yeah, I was hoping to get a second one. Yeah. That that yeah. Having, having to bait those out is, is, is nutty. I mean, it, no surprise is even worse because they can just spam it every enhanced step. Very annoying. There needs to be counterplaying, right? Yeah. I mean, I, it, I'm surprised I found a use for that card at all. Like, <laughs> obviously the block is amazing on it, but... Right. Like, I was thinking, like, when am I ever going to need to discard the top card of my opponent's deck? Oh, perfect. Fade. <laughs> and there, there's already a sand grenade right there in the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fatality is very, very relevant. This, this is honestly, I think, the only reason I played the Hunt for Spiders and Dragons is so I can turn one, get a foundation even though I'm going to be checking twos because there's six of them in the deck. Getting momentum is pretty okay, too. You had quite the hand there. You just grip those sand grenades, or those those uh, frost hammers? There's uh, one frost hammer and tester might. Jeez. Pretty oh, maybe that's two uh, frost hammers. I can't really tell. Yeah, there's two frost hammers. <laughs> and the tester might. Yeah, hell yeah. Go for the gold. No, but uh, yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to get a, a proper defense. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. To, to, the, the deck does. Um, I'm not gonna say. And then I just got Demon stone. Realm Awakening. Yeah. Great card. I love that Bryant put it in his uh, in his Cole Com list. Actually. Yeah, that was gross. It's pretty good. All 
singles. Not like it matters. You're not trying to fucking do anything like Neil me. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's, I'm just trying to get momentum. The... Order is definitely a, it's definitely a weird spot, I, and and one thing to, to say is I, I do stack the momentum uh, in a in a specific order so I can memorize it because I have the worst memory. Like I try to yeah. stagger it so I know which blocks are blocks, especially when Felicity House is out. Um, the um, because I'm playing a bunch of uh, cards to um that that add cards from my hand or I'm discarding cards from my hand, I need to be able to block from my momentum and or, or find some other place to block from or, or or put DR on it. And the the two defensive outlets on the on the border usually Shallon Fighter and Felicity House. Felicity House being able to use a fatality as a sort of or, or if I can put a, a Woodman's Leaf Shield in there with a Sidious Ways or just by hitting someone with it is pretty okay. I think here I was just trying to dig for momentum. Oh, no, no. I was trying to grab a... I think you are trying to grab sand grenade, right? Grab the sand grenade before you fatality it out of my discard pile. And I already had a few. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Secret stash. That. Yeah. It's a pretty good card. In specific circumstances, I guess. I mean, how many characters use secret stash effectively? I mean, aside from Azimov and Katarina, it's like, they can use it. And um, does it share any symbols with Goro? It has chaos, order, air. Yeah, and air, right? Yeah, no, yeah, I don't think that's no. I mean, uh, 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 Johnny Cage uses it pretty, pretty damn well. Oh yeah, hell yeah, Johnny Cage would be great. Yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. That's pretty good. Draw two. Just draw all the Guile's face foundations. Yeah, and Challenge Fighter's the, the other defensive piece. Also an extra stun, so that if uh, if you stun me out with Caltraps oh, and yeah. my Freddy's, you have to double stun it. No, I mean, sometimes there's a, there's situations where, where somebody's, like, gripping a, a ton of revokes or something like that for Caltraps. Like, like David's an Acris deck. He would just grip three revokes um, to say no to Caltraps. Uh, so I, I just sideboarded in out of your league, and then I, I drop a fatality and just try to dig for Shaolin fighters, and I can make fatality have stun six. If I or, or stun eight in an ideal situation, you have four Shaolin fighters out. You tap all all four of them, and it's an uninteractable stun eight. Uh, my board looks so strong. Yeah, <laughs> I feel so confident. <laughs> it's a pretty big... it, it just goes away so fast. I feel like here I should have flipped cool and focus. I I think I, I flipped refusing to let go instead. I don't I don't know why. That's a scary foundation. Yeah, but but I mean, it, it, it just just from experience, it doesn't it doesn't matter by the time we get to an attack that it can touch. Yeah, like if I don't have a God of Thunder, you probably shouldn't have been scared of it at all. Yeah. Cool and focus was the only thing you were probably even thinking. Wow, cool and focus is the only thing that just stops me from doing whatever I want to do. Yeah. And then you saw <laughs> refusing to let go, and you're like, oh, I don't like that card. <laughs> I don't like that card, yeah. <laughs> there, give it stun to you. Because Whitman's Lee Shield has ranged. God. And then, yeah, Cowboy. So, Cowboy Edwards is really, it's kind of the, the funny defensive piece. I found it was really easy to get attacks to 12 damage in Donovan. Because, uh, uh, what's it, the the uh, Kotal Khan high attack that gives itself ranged and three damage. Uh, saw blades. Saw, saw blades strike. If you, do, if you do saw blades strike and you do its own enhance, it gets to six damage. You Donovan enhance, it gets to ten. If you commit a movie star, it goes to twelve, right? So that's pretty good for testing, right? But, um, and then same thing with, uh, with Soul Devourer. Soul Devourer has powerful four. So you just mill a momentum. Since you're playing fatalities, you get to twelve damage really easy with Soul Devourer. So I was like... Calvary Edward has three damage on its face, and usually people aren't DRing these attacks because they're so slow in Donovan that you can really sneakily just use Calgirl Edward to get um to get to the fifteen the magic fifteen number. 
Yeah, I agree. The, the attacks are super slow. Like Frost Hammer isn't going to get any faster. Deep Freeze isn't going to get any faster. Yeah, yeah. The only the only ways you really make things extremely threatening is by building Artifice Adverses and then dropping a, a Deep Freeze into a Sand Grenade after using a Fatality to um to uh to like get the momentum that you need. Just snap a momentum because you know Fatality is a that's a fair card. That's a pretty good hand. Yeah, now I'm counting all these deadlock cards because I'm like, oof, just don't have enough attacks. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, they didn't pull the God of Thunder. Same this card was great. Love yeah. that card. Yeah, that card's great. Doesn't matter how slow that one is. Yeah. Yeah, I had a one on top, so I was like, that responds and you commit with best foundation, right? That's how that works. Yeah, too bad it's not a, a reversal. <laughs> you, you want you want it to be a reversal throw that's I just want to stun people on their own turn. Terrible. Okay, then play a play Aaron Black with a with a that Chun Li foundation that makes an attack low. Now I'll just wait to play Zhang Zung or whatever her name is next next set. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Zhang Wa. Yeah, Zhang Wa. Tons of stun on my opponent's turn. Right. And then you play into a Maxi and cry. Or, you know, the all symbol. I guess at this point. All right, so I did Movie Star with, or I committed Movie Star with Donovan's effects for plus 30. No, that's uh, five. That's five with movie star. Five. So it's, it's at should oh. be, it should be. You reduced it then, yeah, right? Yeah, I reduced it. I reduced it by two, so yeah. it's at it's at eight damage. I really should have saved it for this frost hammer. Yeah, probably. Well. Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. You have to get it. To yeah, get I should have saved it for the frost hammer. I think I was. I think at the end of everything on this frost hammer, I think I was like literally three damage away, mm. or maybe even two damage away from hitting fifteen. Yeah. You you know you're about to see it right now. I'm like it's the top card of my hand right there. Yeah 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 hell yeah. The fuck and your deck was getting thin. I was hoping maybe I can I can mill you out. Oh here it is this full side date stuff. Hell yeah. Well I think every I, time you yeah. put that on top I tried to clone focus. I think you you had already used the clone focus. I I, I did. I had to try to bait it in the in my kill turn. That card's so good. Real fair. Just off symbol it in every deck. Because maybe you'll check it. I mean, Johnny Cage <laughs> plays it super well. Oh, yeah, Johnny yeah. Cage, it's off symbol, and then you just take damage, you add it to your, to your staging area, and then you God of Thunder or whatever his foundation is, destroyed, it goes back on top. Can Johnny Cage again. add cards that, he, that aren't his symbol? Yeah, of course. Oh my god. I need to look this up. Go ahead. I'm gonna. I just gave you a great idea for a full side date in Johnny Cage. As long as you have a way to destroy it. Never die. Yeah, as long as you take one damage, you put it back, and then when you're ready to destroy it, you throw it over there, take one damage, put it back. Well, there's also that, um, there's a new, uh, uh, there's a Killick Foundation, I think, that when it comes into your staging area, you can destroy something, or destroy it, or something like that. Yeah, Johnny yeah, Cage. Here you go. I mill you out for 10 right here, and your deck is getting real low. Hell yeah. Hoping to draw another one. Nope. Yeah, that this sucks. This sucks for when you mill a bunch of cards. Whoever milled all the cards gets to pick the order. So I was like, damn. Yeah, I was hoping to hit put on whatever you want. Ooh, yeah, get to block with Felicitas. And you're getting real low on life too. Well, it, to be fair, it, the deck really likes being at desperation because I can I can loop pull side let's, let's go to the next video uh, it likes being in desperation like typically i will actually take hits to go to desperation if, I, if i'm seeing shaolin fighters because i can loop pull side date and get effective 6dr on things yeah and no, i see it in your staging area. it's gross it's such a good combo yeah it, it it gets pretty pretty nutty the water the water fey does it even better because it's on symbol so you can play god of thunders and you can add it to your to your momentum and just never die 
That's essentially the Johnny Cage thing we just talked about. Right. No, no, I know, I know. But it's on the water symbol. The, yeah, I know. I the difference you. is that is that off water you can you can control when the pool side goes up top a little bit better because you're, you can play dreaming of becoming old to just discard a momentum winner if you feel like it. Um, I, don't know. I think this chaos version is better overall, just because the kill conditions were like like scarier. Yeah, it's 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 a sort of I, inevitable. I, I have ten foundation. I have ten foundation, and getting stun ten is not a problem for this deck. I don't think the water deck is going to stun me 10. Uh, it depends on the water build. The, most of the time, those water builds are just... It's just multiple attacks. Just windmill punch into explosion or whatever the, the hell you need it to be. I guess now they would use sublimating blade. I wanted to I wanted to play that foundation because it just says when a powerful attack gets played, yeah. my opponent discards a card and I draw a card. Yeah, it's pretty good in the sand so, grenade. Yeah, if I drop yeah the sand I was going to say, you play the sand grenade... <laughs> It, it also would take me out of uh it would put me in that luck and then it'd take me out as soon as you play the sand yeah. grenade the the only the only downside to that plan is is that the first attack it never has powerful only the last one like i think when i dropped the sand grenade on this turn it was my last card yeah i mean you know it's uh it's always gonna be your last card if i can't block it yeah 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 100 percent i it, in an ideal situation i have two in hand um but because a lot of times people are gripping their their answers for it because it's it's a it's a it's a like sort of inevitable game plan. Um, you can you can you can be prepared for it. You can have revokes. You can grip no's to it. Yeah, not on my symbol. Yeah, that's that's fair. I think the only the only real answer you have is is a draw that either colon focus, I guess, or well, I mean what. Oh no, I've gone a robot. I think I've lost you. Can you repeat that? Well, it's the speed on sand grenade. I'm pretty sure I can partial that with a uh, clone focus. It's it's four low. Um, okay. yeah, the the uh, most of the, that's why I'm running one with natures and a bunch of three, uh, three block attacks. Secret sash is a great one because it's a low, I guess. But but um, yeah, you can you can just you can if your character's up naturally block if it's a four. But if it's a, if there's a one with nature in play and you blocked any of the previous attacks. Um, yeah, it's gone. It's out of reach. Yeah, it's unblockable. And then if I have a one with nature out and I can get a, a three block on top, then then it's effectively eight speed and, and is unblockable. Um, but what really changed the deck when when I was doing mm. when I was building was putting statistic ways in it because sometimes people just have hard nos forever. And so having an alternate yeah. alternate kill threat is really important. And then, the... in my head, the alternate kill threat was this: the one made leaf shield. <laughs> yeah. In deadlock, yeah. Yeah, That's I was in deadlock. Card. Yeah, I mean that catches people sometimes. It also has range, so you can gateway shuffle it after that. So one once it's a nine or sorry, eight, I guess it would be eight high eleven. You can gateway shuffle it. To... I've killed people with that before. If they're yeah, and I'm also searching for like any answers I can to uh, yeah, sand grenade. Yeah, no doubt. Oh man, I, I Donovan actually has a, a similar sort of playstyle to it because it's it's the slow sort of controly. It's a very Bromley deck. Sorry, sorry, Ricky. Yeah, I hear you're gonna stun me out, so I'm just trying to commit my stuff for for effects. Yeah, I did the Donovan, gave it like a minus two dr equal to keywords. Yeah, it has two two keywords. It's not really enough. Uh, here it comes. Ooh. I take two. And then I counter wrong here because I put I put a uh, a sadistic ways and a uh, a hunt for spiders into the into my momentum, and then I misremembered where the hunt for spiders was. I mean, it didn't ultimately matter, but I wanted to get the speed out. Luckily, when you discard momentum, you get to choose which one goes on top. <laughs> that's like, oh, that thing's rough. Yeah, you definitely get the speed too. Yeah. 
I was thinking, like, I know this was unblockable for me, and I was trying to figure out why. I was like, I have the block. I have the, the big baby, so it would have been, like, super easy. 5-6, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, but once, yeah, once you get speed, it's on a 8. So I was on a 6, and I flipped 5. Yeah, so how much uh, was it that you had 10 foundations? I, I, I discarded 3, so 36 was 41 damage. Correct, yeah. yeah. I could have played. I could have um, just made it for fifty. Definitely the best block I could have had too. Like yeah, if I didn't yeah, block yeah. sadistic ways, I guess I would have. No, yeah, yeah. Nah. You just gotta. I mean, at the, I think I think that it would have. It would have. You had to check a seven. I needed to check a six, and then I tapped Donovan for a seven to full block. No, no, because it's six speed, so it was on. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You would have to tap a six. Yeah, yeah. I needed to not block the sadistic ways, yeah. but I was I was digging to see if I had any. Uh, like negates or any counterplay. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Very, very interactive. Like your guess, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I definitely enjoyed that deck. And I'll, I'll probably try to play it a little bit more. Okay. Maybe actually draw the, the Victor card. That card <laughs> is probably the nastiest card of that deck. Thunder Break. Yeah. Yeah. Get the 50 one. Get the Do things of stun. Yeah.